How's it going guys? We are back with another video here and of course we really are pretty much at the end here and uh, you know it's NHL 20 is pretty much a wrap. Uh, it really is. Uh, I don't think they have it on the screen. Yeah, I was saying it actually a couple days ago. Like, thank, thank you all. Obviously, for playing after the Stanley Cup Finals, they're gonna stop releasing content in Hut. Uh, definitely, I've I've stepped away from Hut for a little bit now. It's probably been over a week since I've played really. So basically, what is going to be this video is a recap of you know my team, my final team uh, of NHL 20. Uh, I'm not touching anything. I'm not playing another game. Uh, that's really it. I mean, it's it was a fun year. It really was a hot. It was a fun year. It obviously dragged out longer than it probably should have. But of course, we all know what happened in this year, 2020. A lot of challenges for a lot of things. But uh, yeah, that was. That, I mean, it was a fun year. I mean, it was really a fun year. And uh, I'm gonna go over my team. And I also have some other ideas. I'm gonna probably have a final community pack opening video going up uh, tomorrow or in the next few days. Also gonna try to have like you know my best polls of the year type video coming up in the next few days. All my teams put into one video in the next year. In, in the next next year, okay, next few days. My bad, guys. But uh, yeah, I mean it should be fun. So here we go. Without further ado, let's check out the team. So here is my final squad. We got the first line, and let me tell you guys. Uh, this team of the year Ovechkin and team of the year McDavid have literally been on my first line probably since March uh, Or maybe even February honestly uh, These two cards were so incredibly incredibly good for me Ovechkin's my favorite by far though Ove Ovechkin 100 100 uh, percent the best card I use this year no no questions asked He's just so good. He's the most consistent card in the game 100 percent his stats will show you Show you that for me. I mean, I played almost 1,500 games with this card alone. Uh, and let me tell you, he is over point per game. 813 goals, 934 assists. Absolutely phenomenal card. Uh, what a fun card to use. It really has been. Every Ovechkin is uh, really good every year to use. Uh, then this, of course, this Nico I bought recently. Because, I mean, it hasn't been out that long. July 31st, yeah. Uh, but he's a, been a fantastic card for me as well. 238 games played, 108 goals, 151 assists. I mean, most of these cards are all 99, so it's kind of like, yeah, of course, if you're good at the game or if you're, you know, shooting enough, you're going to get goals and points. So, I don't know. I don't really want to flex stats. I don't really think it means too much. But McDavid, I, I'll show you. He, I, I played with him a long time. Yep, over 1,400 games as well. Uh, similar stats to Ovechkin. Uh, very, very good. Doesn't have RS activated somehow when I have like every synergy active. Then we have the second line of Mario Lemieux, of course. Joe Thornton. This is one of the free cards that EA gave, of course. Mike Madano, 99. How do I not have some of these synergies activated? That's actually pretty, you know, astonishing to me, really. Uh, but Lemieux, of course, he's been fantastic. 769 games. Uh, it's just a great card. I mean, Lemieux, I never, I didn't use Lemieux all of NHL. Oh, no, I did use Lemieux NHL 19. Uh, he was... I didn't really get to use him too much though because I mean it was hard to get Lemieux last year Which is actually probably good. I, I think I, I wish it was harder to get these legends because I mean again Everyone had Lemieux so it's kind of like okay like I don't know it wasn't really unique to have this card at all uh, Then we have Joe Thornton. I really didn't play many games with him 32 games uh, That just is not really a lot Because it just hasn't been uh, as as fun to play recently huh because realistically what is there to play for right? I mean it's it's over. It's over. Uh, Mike Madano, 268 games played, 105 goals, 118 assists. I mean, not too bad. Not too bad. I mean, I'm just getting so excited, guys, because I know that we are so close. We are less than two weeks away before I'm actually uploading an NHL 21 hut video, like showing my team packs, and you guys actually care. And that's that's what it's about in the end. I, I just want you guys to care again. And I want to care again because I really do not care whatsoever about heart right now. And I don't think a lot of you guys do, but this is just more of a recap video anyway. Uh, so here's a Matt Sundin, 99 overall. Even him, I didn't... Oh, actually, I did play a lot of games with him. My goodness, I actually grind this game. Uh, he did okay. He's always on my third and fourth line. So, I mean, I really wouldn't look at his stats and his points too much. Then this Bobby Holy Hutchams car was actually not that long ago. Yeah, August 26th. He's got 100 points in 110 games. Not too bad. A former Devils. It was kind of a cool card to get uh, when I got him, but I mean, it's it's obviously at the end of the year anyway, so it's not really much of a flex, I feel. Uh, then we have this Evgeny Kuznetsov. I've had him for a long time as well, since May 9th. 
a great card. I've loved Kuznetsov. He's a fun, fun card to use. 99 overall edition. Uh, a great, great card. Uh, that's that's all I got to say about him. Then we have Kovalchuk on the fourth line. I mean, I'm, I'm a big Kovalchuk fan in general, and you'd probably be surprised as a Devils fan that I'm a big Kovalchuk fan, but he's just something. I don't know. I'm, I'm a big fan of Kovalchuk. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's just a fantastic card every year to use. I always wanted a fancy card, but that always costed, like, three mil, so I was never going to pay that, that's for sure. Um, but then we have, the, uh, we have the center on the fourth line, Anze Kobitar, 99 overall. I had him since April 24th. I pulled him in an ultimate pack, untradeable, which was actually shocking, but, you know, that's what we did. That's how we got him. Great card. Uh, then this Jordan Stahl, I literally, literally just got not that long ago. And uh, it just goes to show you how much I've played recently. I've played 14 games since September 16th, and this is the 27th when I'm recording it. So, yeah, not too good. S uh, five goals, two assists, seven points in 14 games. But, yeah, I mean, solid. That's my forward core, my final forward core for the year. And then we go to the defense, which is, uh, I think, I think even more stacked than, than anything. So, here we go. We got 99 Alex Petrangelo, 6'3", of course. 72 goals, 275 assists, a plus 248 in 531 games played. Got him on May 29th. Uh, yeah, just a great card all around. I mean, I love Petrangelo's card uh, in this game for sure. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know. He's He was a good 99. I feel like he's probably one of the best ones to choose. And I think, I, yeah, I chose him for the free 99. Uh, he's, he's a great one for sure. Uh, then we have Joe Finley, Hot Jams card. Now, this is a very funny card. Uh, I have the ninth, six eight two forty. That's pretty ridiculous. Uh, I don't know what to even make of this card. That's one thing I really hope they don't have an NHL twenty one is six eight D men, uh, ninety nine overall with ninety nine speed at any point in the game. I don't care if it's literally you know September eighth of two thousand twenty one. But yeah, this is uh, this is a card that's pretty broken. But you know I didn't use him too much, and I don't know I didn't really love him. Maybe he was okay, but obviously his size is what makes him broken. So. Uh, then we have Mike Commodore. I love this card, actually. One of my favorites, for sure. 97 overall, Hot Champs edition. Uh, 6'4", 227. Uh, great card. Uh, 24 goals, 55 assists, 146 games played. Um, pretty consistent D-man for me. Uh, that was always a weird thing, too, with Hot Champs cards, especially towards the end of the year. Like, you'll have 97 speed, but the 98 will have 98, and the 99 will have 99. Like, it's kind of weird. Like, why? Like, what's the difference? I don't know, but... Then we have Chris Pronger, 99 overall, of course. Uh, he's six six. I mean, what do you really, what do you need to know about Pronger? I mean, Pronger, every NHL game is always good. I mean, because of his size alone, six six two twenty. I just, again, I need people like Pronger. His speed should be 90, in my opinion. It should not be 99. There, there should be a difference in speed between him and like McDavid. But again, I don't know. We'll see what happens in 21. Chris Chelios, uh, Nations of Hockey card here, 177 games played, 17 goals, 57 assists, of course, uh, great card, um, I'd say Chelios, I mean, you definitely notice him being undersized, and that's the sad part, I mean, I really wish that a 6 foot D-man wasn't, like, unusable, essentially, that's, that's the problem, you know, that, that is really the problem, uh, I, I really need cards to just, any card, you'd be, you'd be able to be 5'7 and be usable. If you have a 99 shot of 5'7, it should be like, oh, he's not big enough, he can't, he's not good. That's what I just don't want to be the case in NHL 21, so we'll see what EA has uh, up their sleeves, but then we have the third pairing, of course, the left hand, Mark Mathot, uh, another just fantastic Hot Champs cards. The Hot Champs cards towards the end of the year in the summer months were just all like big DMM with like max shots, basically. He has TN as well, so his shots are nearly as good as it can get. He's got 97 speed as, you know, as, I'm surprised it doesn't have uh, 96 speed considering the Commodore was kind of going like that with the overall for the speed, but it's all right. Uh, he's just a great card though. I mean, a plus 120. He was very consistent for me the whole time I had him, of course, since June 24th. Uh, but yeah, just it's getting to the point where there's just not too many people that are playing this game anymore. So I don't know. I mean, they don't even have hot champs anymore. So there's really not much to play. Rivals is very, very... Uh, you know, the same over and over again, right? Redundant would be the word, but... And then here's my goalies. Uh, of course, Darcy Kemper is who I've been starting for a while. 6'5", 215. He's 197 and 47. A fantastic record, of course. Uh, but again, this is since July 24th. There hasn't been too many competitive games. And, and to be quite frank with you guys, I don't think many people are even trying that much anymore. I'm not even really trying that much anymore because it's just kind of like... 
Wake me up for NHL 21. I don't know. That's just me. Maybe I'm. It's a wrong mentality. I don't know. But and of course, the man I pulled so long ago, November 15th. Mackenzie Blackwood with 1,297 wins and 369 losses. He was my starter for basically the whole year. Until I got Darcy, I kid you not, I used, I used Blackwood every single Hot Champs. Like, that was it. He was my starter for at least at least 18 of 20 games, always. Uh, I, I would never really try another like Hot Champs with a different goalie, because Mackenzie always got me the Hot Champs card, so I always trusted him in the end. But as start, but but as as like April and May started coming around, he wasn't as good because everyone had 99 shot, and then every every goalie was pretty bad to be fair. But I wanted to go a little bit taller, and that's why I got Darcy, who is of course six five, and he's and yeah, I mean that, that that makes a difference, which is sad. But that is that. That's the team, of course. That is the team. Uh, it's just it's been a phenomenal year, really, of hut uh, for for me. I mean, as as a player, uh, as a as a YouTuber, as a streamer. It, it was a it was a fun year. It really was in, in every way. Here's the synergies. If, you, if everyone was just curious, but uh, I'll even show my overall team record. Don't make fun of me, guys. I know I play the game a lot. This is what I do. I'm a full time streamer, YouTuber, so it's kind of my job to play the game. I didn't mean to do that so quick. Uh, but here's here's the overall record. We're gonna finish with 2,074, 491, and 112. I mean, honestly, I feel like it's a pretty bad record. I don't know. I feel like I gotta be better next year, but you know that's that. And then here's the overall points. You know who had the most points and all that. Ovechkin had the most by far. I mean, I told you this guy's this is my favorite card, 100%. Uh, and then that's that's really that, of course. All right. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new to the channel here. Wow, minus five for stall. That's surprising. <laughs> Follow me on Twitch, Henrique. Instagram and Twitter, Henrique with three E's. Join the Discord to talk to me, followers, and subscribers of the channel. And as always, until 21 on the horizon. Stay safe out there, my friends, and I'll see you all in the next video.